Hi, this is Lily Cotilla. Welcome to San Diego Therapy. When it comes to addiction, whether it be alcohol, opiates, food, sex, whatever it is, it is the attempted band-aid at deeper rooted issues. Yalom and other such therapists believe everything comes down to existentialism. If you are part of a family dynamic in which addiction is an intergenerational pattern that has been formed with various members of the family being the symptom bearers or the quote black sheep um, from a structural Mnuchin therapy perspective it is important to redefine yourself upon recovery and moving into new footsteps of your future path if you are the one who is the symptom bearer or the alcoholic addict in your family and you attempt to get clean or sober the family members are used to treating you in certain ways and you having the problem they go into their roles and you get packaged back into your role and it's cyclical and it's sick it's a family disease you are just the symptom bearer AA and the 12-step recovery program, the Blue Book, Bill W, Dr. Bob, 5 to 10% of recovery and treatment centers are predominantly based on the 12-step programs. Again, 5 to 10% of recovery. If you're an opiate addict, Bruno Chavez, the leader of Ibogaine, in my opinion, out of Brazil has a 70% success rate of being free from opiates at the one year mark. That is quite a difference from the five to 10%. Furthermore, you go to meetings, you smoke, you drink coffee, you talk about the problem, the problem, the problem, the problem. That's all great. It works for many. It has saved many people's lives. There is no doubt at the same time. Many people go different routes of recovery and maintain freedom from their drug of choice and they replace the time with fun things and hobbies and new lines of work and new connections and friends in which conversation is no longer about these things of the problem. It's about freedom. It's about love expansion. So keep this in mind when you're getting clean and sober. As the children's fable goes, Harold and his purple crayon redrew the lines of, oops, how, oh yes, life. Keep it in mind, restructure yourself with respect to family, redesign the conversations, redesign the focus. Surrounding family members might not know what to talk about because the problem is no longer there. So what now to fill the space with? It is up to you. The person who has shed the layer of alcohol or drug to invite the surround into a new framework, a new life picture, a new channel, so to speak, on this side, hopefully, of the screen, rather than numbing out on TV shows for five hours a day or what many Americans do. Why that's not in the DSM-5 or ICD-10, I do not know. Isn't TV an addiction? And if so, after how many hours? I mean, what's the diff? Heroin, one reality of checking out. Booze, another reality of checking out. TV, 
I mean, let's get with the program, people. San Diego Therapy.